Hello everyone, this is Mark with All Natural Aquatics. Welcome to episode 33 of What Did We Get Today? Um, a little different tonight because it's another late night fish. We're late coming in today. I'm going to take my glasses off. It's probably see me a little better without the reflection from those. I don't know if that's a good thing for you guys or not. But anyway, fish are late, so the store is closed. All the lights are off, so we've got the decent lighting again. You should get a good look at the fish tonight. Um, so what we got was two boxes of fish. We got one box in from Indonesia, one box in from uh, Singapore. Not our major supplier in Indonesia. It's kind of our number two supplier over there. So uh, let's see what we did here. And this is our first box. And actually, a lot of what I ordered from Indonesia did not come in. Really exciting there. Zebra nearite snails. Yeah. Ooh, there were definitely a few dead ones in there. That smells. Um, yeah, let's see what I can play around with the lighting a little bit here. See if I can make that better. Well, yeah, maybe this isn't gonna work out as well as I thought. It seemed like it worked out really well last time, but we did it late at night. These are rainbow shiners. A little smaller than what they normally are. Actually, quite a bit smaller than what they normally run. All right. Head and tail light tetras. One of the all-time great fish in the hobby, in my opinion. Does not require a heater. It's really a nicely shoaling fish. Does not bother anybody. These are one of the least offensive of all the tetras. I don't think I've ever had them nip at anything. So they're a great fish for any level of hobbyist, uh, from a beginner all the way up. It's actually a good first fish. Um, does fine in a tank with a heater too, can handle temperatures up into the you know, low to mid 80s, um, but doesn't need them. You know, happiest probably at about 76, 77 degrees right in there, but it can handle temperatures down in the 60s without any problem at all. So great fish for that. And actually those rainbow shiners, I should have talked about those a little bit as well. Um, that's a U.S. native fish. It does come from southern states, being bred commercially in Indonesia. Go figure. Um, but again, does not require a heater. They're fine at room temperature. And when they're in spawning condition, especially if they've had a chance to cool down a bit in the winter, when they color up and get ready to spawn in the springtime, colors on those are unbelievable. It's one of the prettiest freshwater fish on the planet. Actually, one of the prettiest fish on the planet. You don't need to qualify that. All right, now let's see what we got here. These are blue tetras, the old bulky uh, Fred Cochua. One of the underrated tetras in the hobby. Um, really one that varies on how it looks depending on how, it light, how the light's hitting it. So every time they move around the tank, their colors are gonna change a little bit. Uh, very reflective blue, great looking fish. Midwater schooler, mid to upper water schooler, kind of in the same, about the same point in the tank that the uh, head and tail lights are at, to be honest. Uh, but again, you know, really nice fish. Not a beginner fish, probably second level up. I don't know why I'm getting all kinds of reflection on me at this point. Uh, it was nice earlier, and now it's going the other way. Try something. A little further away. It's going to be a little darker, but we'll see how that works out. Wow. Um, Opistogramma borelii, tank raised ones from Indo, but smaller than I was expecting. These are supposed to be two centimeters, which, you know, just under an inch. They're, hmm, the big ones might be three quarters of an inch. Great dwarf cichlid. Um, I gotta see which one those are. There's a few different ones that they raise over there, so gotta see them in a the tank and color it up to know which morph they are. There's also one that they call borelii that comes in sometimes that I don't know if it's Borrelia or not. It might actually be a hybrid, but it's a neat looking fish, you know, at a minimum. And it does breed true, so it probably is a legitimate, you know, morph of a, you know, geographical morph of one of the epistogrammas. Whether it's Borrelia or not, I wouldn't swear to you one way or the other. And that would make this cloud loaches. We've been out of these for 
three or four weeks now. Um, had lots of people asking for them. So it was time to get another batch in. That was actually the main reason I ordered from Indonesia this week was to get clown loaches. All right, get this box out of the way, and then we'll see how the Singapore box looks. This Singapore supplier is generally one of my favorite freshwater fish suppliers on the planet. Always get really nice stuff from them. Of course, now I say that, I'll probably have some stuff that's not perfect tonight. Um, mixed dwarf garamis. Look like they're in pretty good shape. These are L1 Plecos. Order these from them on every single shipment. Um, much better alternative to the standard common pleco. Looks similar to it, but this is a better looking fish. But for the most part, this maxes out about eight inches. They're capable of getting a foot or maybe a little over that, but in most tanks, they don't get over eight inches. So much better choice than the common pleco. So we sell these like crazy whenever we can get them. Holland Rams. They don't gonna look like much in the bags. They're in, in the big bag, and then inside of that, they're in smaller individual bags. Let's pull one out and see if we can see it a little better. Not going to see much color on there. But these guys have a lot of pink on them. They're really, really pretty. Um, you know, if you've watched any of these videos, you know I am not a fan of anything called a German Ram. To me, calling it a German Ram is a way to charge more for a regular blue ram. This is a different fish. You know, you look at German ram and everybody who sells them, their fish look a little bit different. There is no traditional single thing. Just Google German ram and you'll come up with pictures that look totally different. Different body shapes, different color patterns, everything. This one is very consistent and much different than your typical blue ram in terms of it's got a lot more pink on it. Um, get some pink even on the males. So really, really a pretty fish. Um, always a popular one when we're able to get them. They don't come in all that often, but when they do, they're great. Uh, this is more of the Blonde Endlers Live Bearers. We got some of these on the last shipment too, sold them out pretty quickly. Really one of the nicer Endlers that I've seen um, in, in the hobby. And it's, you know, again, the Endlers are nice because they don't require a heater. Uh, these are Florida flags. That last bag was male Endlers. I was expecting this one to be the females. Uh, they don't require a heater. They're even less sensitive to water conditions than guppies are. They'll do well in just about anything, but they can handle heat as well. Uh, and they don't require a big tank. They're not a large fish, five gallon tank, or you know, a nano tank for even a three gallon tank or something like that is fine for them. But you know, if you're getting males and females, you wanna be careful of that because they are gonna overpopulate the tank. Uh, but those were Florida flagfish, smaller than I was anticipating them being there, but that's okay. Um, having a little bit of an issue with some algae starting to grow in our plant tank. And I, plant tank is unheated so I ordered these guys in to throw in there because they'll clean the algae up. They're really good at that. Oh, okay that was garamis we already had out. Oh that's uh, another bag of or is that the same bag? It's another bag of male. Yeah and these are these are bigger. But it's another bag of male uh, blonde endlers libraries. So where are my females? Hmm. Let's see what's going on there. Um, assorted liar tail up, mollies. I told you before, all of a sudden here, mollies are one of the best selling fish in the store. There's females. And zebra lace angels. Awesome, awesome fish. And one of the more attractive of the typical Asian bread angels. It's the one I order probably the most frequently out of Singapore. And then uh, one of our employees, one of our new employees, uh, was asking for an opaque half moon betta. So I went ahead and ordered just a couple of those. And she'll get her pick on that tomorrow or whenever she's in next and the other one will be for sale. Yeah, that color just doesn't, doesn't do it a whole lot of justice in this lighting. Um, nice looking fish though. 
Yeah, that's probably the nicer one in my opinion. Uh, but they're both nice fish. So that's everything. Um, I'm going to get these guys tanked, get me home, get some sleep. Um, yeah, we're at the point now where we, we can do some shipping. Uh, if you want fish, this week would have to be the week that they would have to go out because I am on vacation next week. I uh, will be actually in Dayton. I'll be at uh, Gerber's Tropical Fish, probably do a little bit of running around to some other places, but I'll be hanging out with John. Um, so, you know, if you're in the area out there, stop by and see us. Heading out there Monday, I'll probably get to Dayton Monday night uh, and be there until Friday morning. So uh, may see you out there. And you know we'll be shooting a video at Gerber's, if, probably actually more than one, while I'm at Gerber's um, showing you different things that those guys are doing out there. They're doing some really cool things and they've really expanded their dry goods. So that's something to look forward to. But in the meantime, give us a shout. You can give me a shout here. You can send me a message on Facebook. You can check with the store. It is again, um, Pets Plus in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Uh, Wednesday is the day of it, this week that I am available to ship. And so if you want things shipped to you this week, they would have to go out on Wednesday. Uh, so if you want them, you probably need to let me know tomorrow or early Tuesday so that we can plan on it and get everything packed and planned out. So um, please like the video if you haven't done that already. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that so you don't miss future videos. See what else is coming in. There are some definitely some cool things coming in you know, over the next few weeks. A little bit of stuff coming in on Tuesday, not a lot. I probably won't take the time to do a video on that. Um, it's just basically some fancy goldfish. Um, what's coming? Fancy goldfish, uh, glow tetras, some glow danios, Julie Marley or I, and I think there's one or two other things. Uh, so it's not a big shipment, it's just coming up, uh, you know, one of our, our delivery shipments. So anyway, I will talk to you again soon. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.